Two different people asked me to balance this equation, so I thought, well, let's give it a try. We have HSiCl3 plus H2O. It's kind of an intimidating looking equation to balance at first, but it's not too bad. Let's count the atoms up, balance the equation. We have one hydrogen plus these two hydrogens here, so we have three hydrogen atoms, one Si, three chlorines, and one oxygen. Product side, we have 10 hydrogens, and don't forget this one out here, so we have 11. 10 silicon atoms, then chlorine right here, we have one of those, and oxygen, we have 15 of those. Okay, I like to leave the oxygen and the hydrogen atoms till last. So let's just put a 10 here in front of the HSiCl3. That means we need to update pretty much everything except the oxygen. So we have 10 hydrogens plus, don't forget these two, so now we have 12 hydrogen atoms. 10 Si, 10 times 3, 30 chlorine atoms. Well, we've balanced the silicon atoms. Let's do the chlorines. We need 30, so we're actually going to have to put a coefficient of 30 right here. We'll need to update the hydrogen and the chlorine, though. So we have the 10 hydrogen atoms here, plus we have 30 times the 1, so 30 there, 40 total hydrogen atoms. And then for chlorine, we have the 1 times the 30, so we have 30 of those. So these, we have these balanced already. Let's do the oxygen now. We have 15 and one. If we just put a 15 right here, we can update the hydrogens and the oxygens. So we have one times 15, that balances the oxygen atoms. And then the hydrogens, we have 10 times one. So 10 of those plus 15 times two is 30 and 10 plus 30 is 40. We're done. This equation is balanced. So I think the really the key here is to make sure you count the atoms up right. You count these hydrogens. Don't forget about the hydrogen here. You don't count this one. That'll mess you up. And then leave the hydrogens and oxygens till last. That's a really good strategy when we balance equations. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for HSiCl3 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.